The following report contains some disturbing images. Raif Badawi's website was about speaking out, but now he's been silenced. The Saudi blogger accused of insulting Islam. His family believe this is the 31-year-old being flogged last week in Jeddah. Last Friday, the first 50 lashes. Tomorrow, 50 more, and the same for the next 18 weeks. Raif Badawi's liberal website covered religion, politics, free speech. It mocked Saudi clerics and praised secularism. In Canada, where they've been given asylum, his wife and children are calling on governments across the world to demand his release. Raif. Raif is a very peaceful and very respectable man in everything he says and writes. There is nothing to prove that he has insulted religion or attacked the government in any way. Why should he take such penalty that he surely does not deserve? She points to the irony that Saudi officials joined world leaders marching for free speech in Paris last week. Saudi Arabia took part in the rally in France on the very day after Raif has been flogged back home. I cannot find the words to describe how I feel. How could flogging Raif not be considered an act of terror? Tonight, the UN Commissioner for Human Rights appealed to the Saudi king to end the continued flogging of Mr. Badawi. But those who know the kingdom say it will be hard to stop. To us, it's pretty barbaric, but it's part of the... Uh, legal code in Saudi Arabia, they uh, follow Sharia law. There are many punishments under Sharia law that we would have long since uh, given up. Uh, and, but that's the, that's the legal system in Saudi Arabia which enjoys quite popular support. David Cameron says the government doesn't approve of this type of punishment and his case will be raised. But supporters of Raif Badawi want Britain to do more to demand his release and don't want the government to put trade before human rights. We want the British government to make very, very clear to the Saudi government that this is unacceptable. I would want the Foreign Office to be calling in the Saudi ambassador and making that clear face to face. Protests outside the Saudi embassy, but unless they listen to the growing outcry, Raif Badawi will be flogged tomorrow and again and again. Lucy Manning, BBC News.